small business owners need to implement the Essential 8 framework for security to avoid these risks. This is the third video in our series on the Essential Aid Security Framework. If you haven't watched the others, they will be linked right down below this. In this video, I'm talking about the biggest risks to small and medium-sized enterprise owners and leaders who are managing security or managing the IT infrastructure of a business. Now, why is it so important to implement the security aid recommendations, whether or not you're in Australia or whether or not you are a business who cares about security right now? Well, because you can have pretty much showstopper incidents happen if you're not serious about security in your business. And we want to help you avoid those, so let's talk about a couple of them. Now, SMEs often face targeting from bad actors and cyber criminals because they are often seen as more lax with their security principles. I'm going to say that again. Small businesses are often targets for security and cyber criminals because they are often more lax with the security practices. And you probably know that to be true. Now, it's not necessarily any fault of your own or any you know, particular undisciplinedness. It's just the reality that small and medium-sized leaders and business owners just have so many priorities they need to juggle, it's pretty much impossible to make sure that every single best practice of security is ticked off. Now, we have senior security experts and white hat hackers inside our organization, and even keeping on top of our own security is a challenge in itself. And so we understand that it's pretty much a big challenge for anyone else who's managing all of the other priorities in their business to also make sure that they get security right. Now, unfortunately, there was a recent statistic that it came out that said that Australian businesses happen to be 10 times more targeted than other global businesses. And so I don't know what it is about Australia, maybe that we have so many small businesses, but we have been a massive target, especially in the last couple of years, to cyber criminals. And so if you're listening to this video from Australia, watch out, you are being put on notice that if you don't get the security right, you may have big issues to face in your business. Now, if you don't have the right kind of security practices implemented inside your business, the kind of risks that can come up are things like reputational loss. We've all seen in the news over the last year, some really large Australian businesses who have had very serious data breaches. Now, their reputation has been hurt to the tune of billions of dollars of value. And a small business might not actually survive that. So if you're a leader or an owner of a business, you know, imagine your job or your business actually disappearing because unfortunately, these are the reality of what these incidents can happen. Now, not only that, we saw in one of the examples that a large business had a security breach and they actually had a third party supplier who had been involved in the breach. And what they did was they threw the third party supplier under the bus. Now, obviously, if the breach happened to the third party supplier, that's fair enough. That was their responsibility. But how things roll with media and PR, if you are painted to be the bad guy, whether or not there was an outside contributing factor to that incident happening, you can unfortunately cop the brunt of what happens. And so we want to help try and protect you from that. The biggest issue that I see with a data breach is the potential exposure of your customers' private information. Now, hashtag I'm not a lawyer, but if you're based in Australia and you're over $2 million of revenue, or you're in the financial or the legal or some other kind of regulated industry, like maybe the medical profession, you actually have an additional set of privacy principles that you must adhere to. And if you're elsewhere in the world outside of Australia, you'll have similar privacy laws and privacy acts in your country that probably match up to the same kind of thing. Now, the big challenge here, especially for Australian businesses, is there is literal jail time and imprisonment and huge fines as penalties if you allow your customer data to be breached and you don't properly report it or you haven't properly protected that customer data. And that's really the biggest issue here. People who are cyber criminals are looking for customer information so they can steal identities and steal money. It's not good enough for them to just get access to your own business data and maybe try and hack you as the business owner and steal your assets. They wanna go after all of your customers, they wanna go after your staff, and they wanna go after anybody else whose information they can scrape from within your database. That may include your customers, and if you imagine that every one of your customers has their credit card stolen at the same time, or every one of your customers has their identity stolen at the same time, pretty soon they're gonna work it out because customers do talk to each other from time to time. And unfortunately, that could be an absolute showstopper for your business, but even worse, potential jail time or serious consequences for you. Now, there is an answer to all of this, and I know we covered some of the basics of the implementation in the previous video to this, but we're actually creating a live training specifically for business owners to help you implement the Security Aid Essentials. It's gonna be a practical done with you workshop where we show you how to actually implement some of these principles and practices right inside of Google Workspace. This is designed for business owners and also business leaders who are responsible for the technical implementation of security inside Google Workspace. 
And if you're a small or medium-sized business, or even if you're a large organization and you want to check out what features of Workspace might be able to help, I thoroughly recommend you come along to our event. We've got a link down below this video, and if you come along, I look forward to seeing you there. Places are limited, and we may not run this again, so I recommend you register as soon as you can. And if the event's passed by the time you're watching this video, look out for our website for the next one coming up. Otherwise, just reach out to our team on one of the links below. I hope I've helped to increase the security of your business and keep you and your staff, as well as your customers, safe. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.